This training video is on how to use the loop editor found in Song Search and Trainer, which you can access by clicking this button here. When you do that, it opens up and you can see the waveform file of the song. And then what it allows you to do is to set a looping area. So if there's a particular section of the song that you'd like to focus on, focus your practice efforts on, you can set that up. And there are a couple of ways to set it up. Either you can listen. And as it's playing, then if you click this button at the top, this is the start button. It sets a start point at the current position here. And it's indicated by this green line. And then if we let it continue to play, and then we click it again, you can see that we set this red ending loop point. So now you've essentially defined a loop. And by the way, you can actually see that loop up here. We show the green and red lines up here as well. So you can see the position of this loop in the main progress indicator uh, up here in the main window. So once a loop is set, then this song will repeatedly play in this looping area. And of course, you can slow the tempo down. And that should be helpful for you as you're trying to learn a song uh, and practice along with it. So that's how a loop is set up. Um, once you have a loop set and you want to delete it, just click this button here and it removes the loop. Um, the second way in which you can set a loop up is you can left click with your mouse and then move to the right and right click. And again, you've set loop points. And that's a second way in which you can set beginning and ending loop points in addition to using these two buttons. This third button here um, is resets the progress indicator to the beginning of the loop. So if we click it, you'll see this white line, which is the progress indicator, jump to the beginning of the looping area here. And as you can see, that's indeed what's happened. Lastly, this is just a zoom. So if you select it, it allows you to zoom in on this waveform. And when you're setting loop points uh, and you want to refine the placement of the looping area, this can be very helpful. So if we select it, we move back over the loop area, you can see we now have a magnifying glass. And as we click, we now zoom in. And that allows us to more accurately place this. We may see that we have it here. And based upon this waveform file, we may know that a particular section of the song ends here. And then where we have this bigger waveform here, we may know that that starts something else. So we may want to then reset this over to this particular area. And this allows us to, to really define where we want this. And then once we've refined it, to, to place it there. And by the way, left click to zoom in, right click to zoom back out. And there are also some keyboard shortcuts that you can use to both zoom in and zoom out. And I'll just suggest that you read those in the user guide, which you can find in the help button up here. So that's really it. You can set up one loop at a time. You can zoom in to fine tune those. You can use either these loop beginning and ending set points here, or you can right click and left click with the mouse. If you only have a mouse pad or a track pad or one button on a mouse, then you can use your control key, control key plus left mouse button, or I should say control key plus your mouse button to emulate a right click. Um, if you're on a Mac, then it typically is the command key plus your mouse to emulate a right click. So with that, we'll conclude this training video on the loop editor.